I agree with the governor's sentiment. Um, uh, we don't all agree on the specifics. There should be a balanced fiscal plan. Right now, the only fiscal plan is really something that hits the hits working people and the poorest the hardest. That's not balanced by anything where the wealthiest people um, chip in, either through a, a corporate tax, which has tons of loopholes. Uh, we get almost nothing in terms of oil taxes. So right now, it's um, it's really not balanced at all. It's a, it's a big struggle. Do I, do I have to vote for something that hits the poorest people and seniors the hardest when oil companies really aren't willing to chip in and uh, when the most privileged folks aren't chipping in uh, through corporate taxes where they're just a ton of loopholes for high profit corporations? It's, it's the debate that's going on. The governor has been accessible. If, uh, if you want to go into his office, he's a governor that lets you go into his office. If you want to speak to his commissioners, they speak to you. So the, the claim that the governor is not accessible, I don't, I don't know where that came from. I have to thank the governor and the first lady. Um, the governor put these issues on the special session call. One was obviously our bill, one was the governor's bill. Life for foster youth will become better as a result of these bills. Um, the chances that they will succeed in life becomes better because of these bills. The chances that they will get past this life of neglect that they, they unfortunately lead, these things will all improve. And uh, it's a good day for children. It was, a, it was a good day for the legislature and both parties and the governor. Right now, oil companies pay almost nothing in taxes. Uh, in, uh, in two years, we will get almost as much money in pot taxes as we get for oil production taxes. That's pathetic. And so I've said when oil companies are profitable, their tax should slightly rise. So we get some revenue so we can afford schools and roads, uh, so we can have an economy and afford energy projects. Right now, this is a state that's going to be faced with austerity until the oil industry kicks in a fair, fair share. You know, there, um, there is disagreement. There are those who, I think, do what I call a rich person's fiscal plan, something that barely touches the, most, the wealthiest people in the state of Alaska and puts the burden on the poorest people in Alaska and the low-wage earners in Alaska. That's not a fiscal plan to me. So until wealthy people kick in through maybe a corporate income tax that doesn't have a ton of loopholes and, um, and through an oil tax that actually raises money, uh, to me, uh, it's not balanced. I have a hard time looking at my constituents, especially my poorer ones, and saying, uh, just take it because the lobbyists came in to protect their clients and you guys can't afford lobbyists. That's, that's not the way to go.